It's the lesson man, the lesson man, lesson for you and me, lesson, let's have some fun. What up? It's your boy Nate. And today we're gonna be learning how to butter a bagel. Bagels! So, a lot of people are wondering, they're waking up in the morning and they want a nice buttered bagel. And who doesn't? One of the tastiest things you could have in the morning. Now, I'm here to solve that problem for anyone who's having trouble buttering the bagel, which we all do. So, first off, you have to explain what you can use to butter your bagel. We got three utensils here. These are the main buttering tools you're going to use. So, we got the small butter knife, okay, used for the those who want less butter on their bagel and who are a little weaker. We got the intermediate buttering knife. This is for more butterage and this is for those who can handle the weight and the girth. And then we got my favorite. This is the one I use. The big butter knife. This one is going to be giving you the most butter for your butt for your bagel, the most the most weight, the most strength. And this is how you use all three of them, okay? First of all, with your small buttering knife, you're going to want to, first you're going to want to use a diving action, so you dive in, like this. None of this under underhand shit, if you can see my elbow here, we don't want any of this. You're just going to hit the tub. You're just going to hit the tub. You want to go over top, and then you want to spin your wrist. Now this is all in the wrist movement, okay? Gotta go like this. It's like a jabbing action, like you're killing a butter buttery villain. Go in and do the scoop. Now look here, this is the technical part. Boom. Do the S pattern and down out like that. Then we have some nice butter. So in order to butter the, the bread part, we're gonna go like this. Spread very softly at first, and then you want a quick finish. That's the best way you can do it in the morning. Finish up a little tad bit there, and then uh, get the insides there like that. And that's your uh, most effective way with the small buttery knife. All right, now next to the intermediate. Now, the intermediate is going to take a lot more speed and coordination. Going in here, with this one you want to do a dive. You want to dive right in, not the same technique of the uh, jab. More of a dive from the top. We dive in from the top. This way you can get a lot of butter. A lot of butter like that. And you want to flick it up almost to where it flies on off your off your knife. But then you catch it by spinning back really quickly. So like that. Oh, let's see. That usually doesn't happen. But uh if that does happen, if it does fling off, you just get some more and you recover it. Actually, you reuse, you can reuse some of what fell. So I'll get that back there. Now I got it. Just fell, it got stuck onto my cupboard here, but that's okay. You recover it. That's the best bageler, butter bageler, can recover any situation. Now with this, technique is similar, except this way you reverse it, you go fast, quick, and then you want to get a slow finish. And then you can just cover it all up there very nicely. Like that. And then you get all the edges right here, like that. And that's, that's the best way you can intermediate butter knife that shit now for our final mm, I just love that butter for our final life the big the Goliath Ooh, this is gonna take the most practice the most the most footwork you gotta have a great stance you gotta be able to move ready for anything okay so you get your bagel here what you want to do first with the big knife is beat it down get it tenderized Smack the shit out of that. Just hit it. You just want to hit the shit out of it. Okay? Once that once that's ready, you're done smacking it, you get your butter. Now, we do this is called the drilling action, okay? Drilling action. You go in like this, you have it ready, you drill into the 
drill it and you and you blend it with your own wrist strength. You blend it. And then once you get your blended whipped butter, with the big knife, you're gonna want a lot of butter, okay? That's a healthy amount. This is the most difficult part. Now you're gonna want to slab it in through the hole. The big knife always goes through the hole. That's that's the one normal lesson. Big knife, big, big hole. Alright, so we get through the hole, you go like that, you slowly massage the butter in with the big knife. Okay? Get in right there. Do the drill again. Now, remember when we tap the we tap the bagel? You want to tap now the butter that we have in there. You want to tap it like this. You want to tap the you want to tap the bagel. And you tap it, you beat it, you beat the butter in there. This is why the big knife is useful, is because you can beat that butter in there. And then makes it nice and soft. This is where it comes with the strength. Some people can't do this. You gotta beat it in there. And then this is the last part and most difficult, some would say. For me, it's quite a breeze. You flip it over like that. Flip it over like that. And then you go up and down, up and down, up and down. This is getting the, the molecules of the butter to mix and become a, a coalesce in, with the bread. This is gonna make it taste better and be a lot smoother, okay? Once that's done, give it another nose smack. Give that smell, you can smell the freshness of it. You can smell the heat from beating it, okay? Once you're done there, you just cut it up. Big knife can cut anything, and perfect buttered bagel. That's how to butter a bagel. I'll see you next time. It's the lesson man, the lesson man, lesson for you and me. Lesson, let's have some fun. Bridge.